Good afternoon, I'm Darwin McDaniel. I am the uh, instructor for the Culinary and Hospitality Program at Drake State Community and Technical College. Today I wanted to talk to you briefly to give you an example of how we integrate math into our curriculum. Um, we're going to use today, of all things, one, one number. The number 16. Number 16 is very important to we as culinarians and we that deal with the management aspect of the, of the industry because this helps us to learn how, how to cost and how to do things when the software is not readily available. So the number 16 has a lot of multiplicitous use in this program. And what that means is 16 can be a number of things. First thing is 16 is the number of fluid ounces in one pint. 16 is also the number of ounces in one pound. Now, 16 is also our consistent conversion factor when costing recipes. Okay, so let's get started and, and we'll make very light, short work of this. Let's say we have a recipe that calls for sugar, okay? Sugar comes in a three pound bag. This is just four examples. So a three pound bag of sugar costs five dollars, okay? We already know that it takes 16 ounces to make one pound, as we, as we uh, stated in the aforementioned. So, how do we find out how many ounces are in a three pound bag of sugar? We simply take the amount of ounces in one pound, okay? And that's 16. We multiply it times the number of pounds. So that gives us three. Naturally, six times three is 18. Going to carry, bring the eight down, carry the one. One times three is three. Three plus one is four. So now you have your answer. There are 48 ounces and three pounds. Now, the entire bag is $5. So now we have to figure out how much each of these 48 ounces cost per each. So how we're going to do that is we're going to take the total cost of the bag of sugar, which is this $5. So I'm going to put a five here. Okay. And we're going to divide that by the number of ounces in the total bag, which is 48. So we know now that five cannot go equally into four because four is less than five. But five will divide into 48. And the closest uh, factor we have or the closest multiple is the number nine. And with that, we say five times nine equals 45. So we're going to subtract what the product is of this function. So 48 minus 45 leaves three, okay? Now from there, we know that five cannot equally divide into three and, and leave a whole number. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to imagine that we have another place here behind this eight, and we're going to bring this down. So we now have five divided by 30. And since we had to bring that zero down, it is implied that we have to add a decimal point. Okay, when you bring the zero, decimal point is implied. Easy thing to remember. Five divided by 30 is six. So five times nine is 45. 5 times 0.6 is 3, 45 plus 3 is 48. So, of course, this is, this is an old way, but it's still very effective. This is a division pro, uh, a problem, so the way you're going to check your division answer is to invert it into, into multiplication to check to see that the numbers line up. So we're going to take the answer here, 9.6, and multiply it times 5. 6 times 5 is 30, we're going to express the 0 and carry the 3, 9 times 5 is 45 plus 3 is 48. We have one number to the right of the decimal, so for that reason we will go behind the zero and move from the right to, to the left one place, and the decimal goes right there. So there you go. Work is checked, everything is done, and from this point we, we, we know that the um, sugar is 9.6 cents per ounce. Now, if there is a recipe that calls for 6 ounces of sugar. It's a very simple process. Now we know that sugar is 9.6 cents per ounce. 
So now we need six ounces of sugar. So we're gonna take this amount and we're gonna multiply it by the cost per ounce. So 9.6 multiplied by six. So six times six is 36, okay? Then we're gonna carry the three. Nine times six is 54 plus three is 57. We have one number to the right of the decimal. We will, we will reciprocate here, 57.6, and then we're gonna round to the nearest whole number expressed in cents. So the answer would be 58 cents would be the cost of the sugar in this particular recipe. And you use this same process for every ingredient, wet or dry, that you have in this, in this recipe. And this is how businesses did, um, can determine how much the raw cost is. And then from there, you come up with another conversion where you're gonna take the, the raw cost and, and you're gonna multiply it by a certain factor. And this will uh, assure that you're covering your raw cost, your labor, and that you um, can um, have some a point of recourse where profit gaining is, is concerned. Also in our program, we talk about the revenue versus profit. And uh, in another episode, I will explain it to you. Thank you, and remember, nothing like Sweet 16.